After a few decades of killing campers and starring in crappy movies, the mean guy in the hockey mask has decided to call it a day. And really, who can blame him? Few are the fictional characters who have done more than him. I mean, come on. The one where he goes to space? Pfft, classic. And with those days long gone, the Patrick Waugh wannabe, who ended up more like Patrick the Comatose Killer, finds himself enjoying the retirement life. That is, until an army of minions tramples his flower garden, evidently unaware of who planted those fucking azaleas. They'll find out soon enough in lock and load for the iPhone. Revenge is swift, and it smells of a delicate spring bouquet. Rock. Now, the game never calls this guy Jason Voorhees, but at the same time, I mean, it never actually says Ghostface either. Now, the game's more tongue-in-cheek, using these generalized versions of popular horror figures for comedic effect. In fact, that's one aspect I wish the game took further. It's parodies of scary characters. What Lock and Load does a more thorough job of is providing really good dull stick shooting gameplay. Now, granted, playing these games on a touchscreen can be tough initially, and even when you're used to them, it's far from ideal, but the point is, you eventually do get used to it, and when you do, it plays just fine. But actually, I think the big draw with Lock and Load is this is a really nice package. There's a lot of content to work through, uh, even though it's locked behind a currency system that tries to force you into in-app purchases, and the graphics are fantastic. Very colorful and vibrant. Uh, this is a really polished looking mobile game. I do wish Lock and Load would have taken its theme further, as there are several horror conventions and characters ripe for parody, uh, and it's also a drag that so many games are making it impossible to unlock everything without extra purchases. But nonetheless, Lock and Load plays well, it looks great, and for iOS shooter fans, it's a must-play. Just, just don't step in the flowers. That's a bad idea.